<laughs> Hi, this is Alex Paul, and I'm here at the Embedded World Show in Nuremberg, and I'm here with my good friend Alan Hawes from Cypress Semiconductor. And, uh, well, you've been throwing some really good presentations today. I'm seeing the crowds all the time. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure how a overweight, middle-aged white guy turns out to be having tons of people watching me. Rock star. Reason. Yeah, exactly. I had to do a selfie with a kid yesterday. <laughs> well, what that means is what you're, what you're pitching is really good, I imagine. Uh, it's not really me. It's the product. We've got. I'm showing PSOC 6, which is our new... Uh, BLE embedded microcontroller. It's an ARM Cortex M4 and an M0, and it's super low power, and it's in 40 nanometer, and it's got the best radio, and it has security. So it is an exciting thing, and everybody is fired up about it. The other thing I'm getting to show is we've got the Broadcom Wicked Wi Fi integrated really into Cypress now, and so you can drive our Bluetooth and our Wi Fi with PSOC 6 all in the same package. So for some reason, it seemed like a good idea to make four radio connections work. I mean, if you take out your cell phone, there's like, look, there's like 50 freaking Wi-Fi access points blasting us right now, but our Wi-Fi still works and our Bluetooth still works, and so that's good. Very cool, Alan. Now, um, what I'm also seeing, I mean, I, you, you, I, I like the fact that you mentioned the security because that's really becoming an issue because security is kind of like the, in the buzzword phase right now in no, our industry. No, it's not in the buzzword phase. If you come to Cyprus, it's in the reality phase. And Very cool. We'll help you make it work. Um, the, the PSOC 6 was designed inherently as a secure MCU. We've got a separate core, and its entire responsibility is to do security. So you can have... Your, uh, your keys can stay secure. There's a guaranteed uh, root of trust. So it's not, it's not vaporware, it's not PowerPoint. We have real stuff here. Very cool. Well, then, but, but, actually, it was more when I was saying about buzzword. It's not so much what you're doing, it's that the engineer sitting in his office knows that he has to deal with this, but there, there's a lot of noise. And I'm really glad you were very clear with what you're doing because it's exactly that that the engineer is looking for. Well, I mean, at this point, you can't have the world get taken over by hackers. <laughs> and IoT devices are an awesome place to hack. And if you look at a lot of the competition out there, they, you know, they say, oh, yeah, we're secure, but they don't do two-sided TLS, or they don't have secure key storage, or, you know, things like that that let them get in. And, you know, we have a real product, and we've been hacking on it a year. We've hired white hat hackers to whack on our product, and, you know, we've been finding and fixing things, and we have a real product at this point. Very cool. Now, one of the things you were talking about is the, just the noise, the, the, the cloud of the cloud, as it were. Right. Being able to cut through that and have your devices function, I think that's also an important aspect to bring out. Yeah, you know, just to be 100% clear, I'm an engineer and I don't care about marketing and I don't care about the noise and I don't care about the buzz and I don't care about the vibe. I mean, if you want to do that stuff, go roll with Kim Kardashian or some crap like that. <laughs> I make real stuff and I deploy real stuff and that's what I care about. So don't be talking to me about noise. I'm, I'm talking to you about noise real sick. in this case. Oh, there is tons of electronic <laughs> noise in here. Yeah, it was funny. Yesterday, I'm showing our Bluetooth, and, uh, you know, I was scanning to have my devices connect, and the, you know, devices are scrolling by on the screen. There was probably a 1,000 Bluetooth devices just standing in the exact spot, and what's badass is our Wicked chip has both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, both 2.4 gigahertz things operating together on the same radio, in the same chip, out the same antenna. And, you know, life is too short to have your BLE not work right. When you flip the light switch, the light has got to turn on. It's not even a little bit funny. You know, at my house, I don't know about your house, but if my wife flips on the switch, she doesn't care how cool IoT it is, <laughs> how home automation it is. The light better damn well turn on, right? And that's an excellent point. It has to work. Yeah, that's, that's it. You know, we can sometimes get carried away with how cool it is or how fun it is or how clever it is. But what I care about is that it actually works. And it works not just, you know, there's one thing when it works on your desk or in your lab, or you know, in your test product. It's something else when it works everywhere. The real all world. the Yeah, in the real world, right? Because after all, that's where our products are getting hooked up. Very cool, Alan. I'm really, I always love talking to you because you're such, you're such fun. <laughs> you never know what I'm gonna say next, for sure. But and I appreciate fact, it all. People have been talking to me and I'm not even sure what I'm gonna say next, <laughs> but um, 
I will tell you we have great software and we care about how you actually use our chips. You know, I personally look at every application note, every dev kit, I read all of the code examples and I do it because I want you to have a great experience with our products. And that's and, why I always like looking you up, my friend. And you're welcome to send me email. I'm Alan underscore Hawes at Cypress.com and I'll answer your questions. Very cool, Alan. Hey, nice to chat with you nice again. Nice to chat with you, my friend.